saying that he will I mean, knock okay. out Wilder on round two. What can it, you say about that? It's great if, if Deontay gets the knockout early, but we're prepared for a long, tough fight, 12 rounds if need be, decision if need be. It's all about the victory, and it's all about retaining the title. That's, that's what we're in this for, is to retain the title and to come out with a win. So why is it uh, Bob Arum don't want on the ending of the final press con that they face off? What do you think is the Yes, how are you? Good, good. How's it going? So, uh, this is for the radio station in the Philippines, 102.7 okay. Star FM and Bombo Radio. So, uh, the first question of uh, one of the number one radio station in the Philippines is uh, uh, Manny Pacquiao uh, forecasted that Wild, your boxer, will win. Mm -hmm. And uh, a lot of people in the Philippines is also... Uh, forecasted that Wilder will win. So, uh, how come majority of the Filipinos are thinking that Wilder will win? Because of you as a coach, Day Diaz, or what's no, the, no, Is no. there it's, any technique it's, or what? It's, uh, it's, it's because uh, they probably know what a lot of power helps with and a lot of, a lot of speed. And I think they understand that. And probably having seen Manny fight, they know what explosive power can do, and so they probably see Deontay as a much bigger version of Manny. So, uh, how long did you train uh, Wilder for this mega fight? Uh, well, we just fought in November, so we took a month off and we started back in December, uh, uh, at the end of December. We started back, so we've been at it since basically the end of December through January, so maybe eight weeks. Majority of uh, uh, Wilder fight, 99%, it's knock out. So he knocked out, he knocked down uh, Fury on round 12. Do you think he needs to knock out Fury this time on the first two or three rounds? Because Fury is saying that he will I mean, knock okay. out Wilder on round two. What can it, you say about that? It's great if, if Deontay gets the knockout early, but we're prepared for a long, tough fight. 12 rounds if need be, a decision if need be. It's all about the victory and it's all about retaining the title. That's, that's what we're in this for, is to retain the title and to come out with a win. So why is it uh, Bob Arum don't want on the ending of the final press con that they face off? What do you think is the reason? You know, it's one thing when it's three months out, two months out, but when it's when it's the time, when it's when it's that week, it's supposed to get like this. This is what happens when you have the two best heavyweights in the world, both undefeated, both highly motivated, both as competitive as two humans on earth can be. This is what happens. I would I wouldn't expect anything less. Sure. Um, I'm excited about it, um, watching the, the fighters' reactions. Um, you know, everything's been quiet. Everything's been subtle. Um, today you saw the mood swings. You saw all the hard work that these fighters have been putting into uh, their training camps. Um, you just saw a little glimpse of it on the stage here. Uh, the, the emotions are going up, the emotions are going down. Uh, the emotions are going up, they're going back down. Um, this is what um, big time boxing is. Uh, these two guys are professional, but they still have their emotions. They still have their, um, you know, their, their, their chip on the shoulder. They both want that win. Um, both of these fighters are just, uh, you know, expressing themselves like they should. Sugar, you're one of the biggest variables in this entire lead up to this fight because the news of Ben Davison being out, still a great relationship, it has been proven that well, your former trainer with you. But. Jay Mello, that's what I follow. Basta Sports, Jay Mello. Thank you very much, Bob. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to this channel.